Hello, my name is Evan Lauer. I'm from Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. I'm in the automotive program. And today I will be talking to you about intake air temperature sensors and how they function. For testing purposes, I used a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer, but some of my service information comes directly from Chrysler. I mixed the two together because I wasn't able to use a Chrysler vehicle. The intake air temperature sensor monitors the temperature of the air entering the engine. The engine computer needs this information to estimate air density so it can balance air fuel mixture. Colder air is more dense than hot air, so cold air requires more fuel to maintain the same air fuel ratio. The PCM changes the air fuel ratio by changing the length of the injector pulses. As you see here, you can locate the intake air temperature sensor in, inside the intake tube. If you can't find it in the intake tube, it is possible it's integrated with a mass airflow sensor or a manifold absolute pressure sensor, which those can be located in or around the intake manifold. So if you can't find it on the intake tube, look at those two places. The air temperature sensor is a thermistor, which means its electrical resistance changes in response to changes in temperature. It works the same as a coolant sensor. The PCM applies a reference voltage to the sensor then looks at the voltage signal it receives back to calculate air temperature. The return voltage signal will change in proportion to changes in air temperature. Most air temperature sensors are negative temperature coefficients, thermistors, which high electrical resistance when they are cold, but the resistance drops as they heat up. However, some work in the opposite manner. They are positive temperature coefficients, thermistors, that have low resistance when cold and increase resistance as they heat up. The changing resistance of the sensor causes a change in the return voltage back to the PCM. An air intake temperature sensor can sometimes be damaged by backfiring in the intake manifold. Carbon and oil contamination inside the intake manifold can also coat the temp of the sensor making it less responsive to sudden changes in air temperature. The air temperature sensor itself may also degrade as a result of heat or old age causing it to respond more slowly or not at all. Sensor problems can also be caused by poor electrical connections at the sensor. A loose or corroded wiring connector can affect the sensor's output as can damage wiring in the circuit between the sensor and the PCM. The first thing you want to do when you're diagnosing an intake air temperature problem is physically inspect the intake air temperature sensor. Look at the wiring, even pull it out of the intake and check it itself to see if it's contaminated or the a uh, resistor is burnt up. Another way to diagnose an intake air temperature sensor problem is by grabbing a scan tool, hooking it up to the vehicle, and looking at any and all PIDs related to the intake air temperature sensor. By doing so, you can look at the temperature it's reading, and if it looks like it's really high or really low, then you can suspect that it's something dealing with the intake air temperature sensor, and further diagnostics can be proceeded. Another way to diagnose an intake air temperature sensor is by grabbing a fixed resistor and putting it into the intake air temperature wiring connector and by checking the scan tool uh, to see if the temperature changes by the fixed resistor that you put in. I wasn't able to find any actual specs of what the resistance to the air temperature is supposed to be, so I just played around with it to make sure it was changing by the resistance I was putting in then. On this scan tool data, I show you that I put in a very high resistance resistor in, and by doing that, it brought down the intake air temperature severely, so in this case, this sensor was operating properly by the resistance to air ratio that it was doing. In this data I put in a very low resistance fixed resistor in and by doing that it brought the temperature way up because the less resistance the higher the temperature is and again by doing this it showed me that the intake air temperature sensor was working properly. I just want to say thank you for listening and I hope you learned something about intake air temperature sensors for yourself in the future if you ever have to come across diagnosing them or learning about them.